Today on the channel, we go deep undercover with the Covert Ops Edition Condor Valiverse Action Force Mail Away Exclusive. The spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! to the channel for another Valiverse Action Force unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we got a special mail away only exclusive Valiverse Action Force Condor Covert Ops Edition. But for all your Action Force needs that aren't exclusives, make sure you hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Use the link in the description down below. Got to get a deal out there. But this is an interesting one, and this one is fueled with nostalgia for me. As we did know, of course, we've unboxed a ton of Action Force figures on the channel here, and I've always pointed out on the back of the package, oh, we got some Action Force points. We got one point, we got two points, we got three in special occasions. And I always said, man, what are they going to do with these points? I hope it's not just for show, because longtime collectors like myself, and maybe some of you out there as well, that collected the original G.I. Joe 3 and 3 Force line in the 80s. We all knew about those flag points on the back. Oh, man, you were so mad at your mom and dad if they accidentally threw away a package that had some flag points on it. You were going through the garbage trying to get those points. You were saving those things up, and you were using them for mail-away items. I remember Quick Kick was one of my favorite Joes when I was a little kid. Had it, and one day he broke. His O-ring snapped. And uh, that was the end of Quick Kick for me. He was uh, cut in half by a sword from Storm Shadow in the rest of my uh, playing days as a kid. But I remember being so dis disappointed I lost Quick Kick. And you couldn't find another Quick Kick on the shelf at the time. They moved on, of course. But that's where the flag points would save you as a little kid. Before there was eBay and stuff like that, you would have your flag points. You'd have the little catalog. And one day, there it was. Quick Kick was up there for some flag points. Man, I sent those in so fast. Got my Quick Kick back. And it was a great way to get older figures back in the day, of course, including other mail-away items and things like that, and exclusives even back in the day. But long way around it, this story here, Action Force did the same thing. You could mail in your Action Force points. You needed 20 Action Force points, plus I think it was like $14.99, shipping, handling, all that kind of fun stuff. You sent those points in, and in return, you got this Condor figure. You could get two at once. I went through my points. I think I have like 48 points or something like that. So I actually got two of these Condor figures. I got one in box. Uh, maybe I'll sell it. I don't know what I'll do with that. But then I did get this one, of course, from my personal collection to unbox here on the channel. So I love the idea of this. I love the nostalgia it brings. I love the uh, element of surprise, I guess you could say. And uh, Condor is the first of hopefully many of these in the future. But of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And I will say, I think this took like a week to get for me. So I mailed it out, mailed my points, you know, sent the points in, sent the form in with my order confirmation. I want to say it was about seven days on the nose later I got this in hand. So quick turnaround by the old Valiverse team. Even better appreciated because I remember those flag points felt like they took an eternity when I was a kid. But, you know, time was different when you're a kid. Uh, what is time? What is time? We always do say that. But let's look at the packaging here. Very plain Jane. I guess I didn't know what I was expecting as far as packaging wise. But if I remember back to getting that quick kick, for example, I felt like he just came in a normal little baggie or something. It wasn't even the full on carded figure. I could be wrong on that. But for some reason, that's where my memory goes. So I guess we shouldn't expect all the bells and whistles with this as it is a free mail away figure. And we do remember a lot of mail aways over the years came in boxes very similar to this. Ones that really stick out in my mind is like the Power of the Force ones. Wasn't there like Force Ghost, Obi-Wan Kenobi, a Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, different figures from the Power of the Force line that came from cereal box mail -aways. They came in a package something like this. So it is maybe not as fun as normal packaging, but it does make sense in the mail -away pantheon of history. But you do get the Action Force logo up there, Covert Ops going on. Nothing on the sides, all white, nothing going on. So I'm going to check out what's going on here. I've not opened this up. You know, let's see what's going on here. Okay. I see what we're doing. Nothing else in the box. Give you the old see you later. Goodbye. But we do get Condor right there in a little uh, Ziploc baggie. Very cool. Weapons and hands included. 
Oh, look at that. So we do get this file card and nicely cut. A nicely cut file card. I'm here for that as well. And this is kind of how I imagined or remember them coming from the G.I. Joe days in the 80s, uh, just like so. We do get a stand as well. Uh, Condor going to take his last stand. We do got a stand there. Love that Action Force gives us a stand. You guys know I'm a big proponent of the stands in the world. We got Condor here, old Laird Barnes. Now, we've had Condor in the past, and we'll compare that later on in this video. He is from England. He is the captain of the Action Force, and he's on vacation. I will put this up there. You can pause the screen if you want to read his whole story here. But he is looking out there, going to go fight with the cartels down in Cuba, it sounds like. Very, very cool. So we do get that. Uh, to do. So now we're going to pull him out of the baggie here. We're going to see what all the fuss is about with old Condor. Always love that they give us these Ziploc bags. I get all kinds of reuse out of these as I store a lot of hands, things like that in these kind of things. Get a little baggie right here. Gonna open that one up. We got old Condor out of the package. Now, this does look like a little bit of a tribute to our old friend Chuckles, and we'll talk about that in a second as well. But let's look at these hands. Came with two trigger hands out of the pack right there, ready to go. We got Fist of Fury, Fist of Fury. You know I'm here for that. We do got the uh, kind of cupping hands, cupping a gun hand. We do got two of those. And then we do got two gripping hands, two more gripping hands here. So we got all the choose-your-own-hand adventures we're used to with Action Force. Action Force doesn't mess around when it comes to the hand department. Now, we do get just a little pistol here. That's all he has. Of course, if he is deep undercover, he's going to have a little pistol hidden somewhere, just like our boy Chuckles back in the day, and now as well. But he's going to have this hidden away. He's not going to have a big old uh, machine gun or something like that. However, we do know Action Force. They have so many build-out weapons packs, things like that. You can grab. If you're like me, you have tons of weapons. You could add to him if you really wanted to. Choose your own weapon adventure as well. But you get a little black pistol here. Kind of is what it is. But the main event with this one, of course, is the figure here. And like I said, definitely reminding me of Chuckles. And there's been a lot of strong rumors. I don't know if you guys have been listening. I'm looking around. There's been a lot of rumors going around for Hasbro at San Diego Comic-Con 2023 that we might see Chuckles as an exclusive. There's been a little bit of that talk on the old figure underground. So we'll see if that ends up happening or not. Uh, but this does feel like an homage to Chuckles. It, it definitely does. And I guess you throw any army character with a Hawaiian shirt on and all of a sudden it is Chuckles in some ways. Uh, but a very, very cool one here. I'm not sure if Condor is my favorite Action Force guy. I don't think he is. I'd have to put the pen to the paper. And it's interesting that they selected Condor as uh, the undercover guy. I wonder how that selection committee went for that. I don't know. I guess we'll never know. Uh, but definitely very cool. I like the Hawaiian style shirt. I just think that is cool. I'm a guy that's worn Hawaiian shirts my whole life. I remember seventh grade, I think it was the first time I got a Hawaiian shirt. And I do like to mix those up into my rotation with heavy metal shirts, of course. As you guys know, you've seen it here on the channel. Uh, but definitely like this one here. Nice pattern to it. Uh, just a very, very good looking one. Then he's got a blue, a baby blue kind of wife beater underneath. I mean, it's hot down there in Cuba and Miami and things where he's undercover. And then I do like the sculpted on glasses. I would have liked to have a regular pair of glasses to put on him. I think that would have been really cool. Or maybe a second head with the glasses sculpted in. I think that would have been really awesome there, but uh, not in the cards apparently here. And then you got kind of a tannish green pants and brown shoes going on. He's got a holster on the side of his leg for his weapon, so you can store it on him. He does got a watch on his hand. He's got a sweatband over here. It gets hot. You got to wipe your brow. That's what happens. Uh, he's got that going on right there. Head sculpt, it is Condor. And I guess I could grab that other Condor figure right now. See if it's the same head sculpt. No, it is not the same. It is similar but different. Obviously, the hair, the ears, the face, everything is different. But he's got a little 5 o'clock shadow going on in this new one. He's on vacation. He's undercover. He's not going to be clean shaven like the regular edition Condor. But definitely looking good here. Like the kind of dirty 5 o'clock shadow going on. It just fits the motif of what they're going for here. Definitely looking good there. Interesting enough, doesn't come with a backpack. Once again, just like weapons, you could get a backpack, but he's got a little hole in the back here. So if you need to put a backpack in, you definitely could. Definitely interesting looking. Of course, articulation, arms go all the way around. You got the old bicep cut. Double jointed, pinless elbows, playing all the hits right here at the table. Hands back force, side to side, hands removable. The biggest gripe I have with Action Force, and it's not even that big of a gripe, it's more of Kyle's being lazy gripe. I wish I could just pull the hand out, plug ones in, plug them in. You have to heat the hand up to be able to get this out. Once you do that, they all go back and forth fairly easily. But it's just me being lazy. But I wish I could just plug and play right now and move things around. Just can't do that. you got to heat it up. So we do got that going. Got the hula hoop in the center. you got the traditional waist as well. Head, plenty of head movement. Way up, way down, side to side, back and forth. All the head movement you could need. Big old splits going on right there. And then, of course, you do got the drop-down hips as well. Uh, you got the thigh cut. 
Double jointed, pinless knees. The hits being played once again. We're going for a second round of hits. Ankles back, force side to side, up and down, of course. So all the usual articulation we do get with the Valiforce group. Looking nice here. I'm here for this. And I like stuff like this. I like a little vacation day. I think that is a very cool idea for a figure. And this is the perfect kind of mail away here. Not a ton of ground being broken, of course. Uh, you know, it's it's a lot of reuse, as we do know. But that's a perfect mail away item. It feels somewhat free. Yeah, you had to collect your points. I get that. Yeah, it was fourteen ninety nine, but that pays the shipping, pays a little the handling fee. I get all that. So. This is very cool, though, for what it is, and it's very nostalgic. I hope they continue on with this thing. I hope we get one of these every year or something like that. I think that would be a really fun thing to do. And uh, Condor, I guess, is the first one to do it. And, of course, we got these guys here, but we got to bring out Flint for a little comparison. As you can see, he uh, stacks up pretty well with the old Valiverse line as well. Flint, of course, as we know, the true leader of G.I. Joe at this point. Uh, but definitely a cool figure. Definitely one I'm here for. I don't know. I haven't even looked at the secondary market on this one. I have to imagine it might be a little bit pricey just because not everybody collected their points. Not everybody had enough points, possibly. Not exactly sure. But definitely one of those figures that probably will go up in value over time because it's definitely limited edition. Definitely a select few that probably sent in for it. There's probably people that have the points that didn't send in for it. There's people that never saved their boxes in the first place. There's a lot of variables with this one that really could have this very uh, valuable in the future. So we'll see what happens with that. But there it is, Covert Ops Condor, the Valiverse Action Force Mail Away exclusive. What are your guys and gals' thoughts on this one here? You like that idea? I personally wish more toy lines would do things like this. I think it is a cool nod to the past uh, for people. Nostalgia, everybody loves it, and that's one of those big nostalgia things, especially if you collected toys in the 80s and the 90s. But let me know your thoughts on Condor down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day. And then some. Yes, you heard it right. And then some. We got even more content for you on the Patreon channel, including early access to videos like this, bonus content, exclusive content, giveaways, Q and A's. You name it, a ton of stuff on the Patreon channel. And you can also support the channel by being a Patreon member. You can also support channel ProSNTs.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget social media. Subscribe, follow along over there. Sir Paul64 on Twitter. Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Condor Covert Ops Edition. I am Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon.